Hey everyone, hope you're having an absolutely spectacular day so far. Now, as I have promised in my last video, maybe even the video before that, and how I've definitely uh, spoken about on stream, is that I want to make a Slayer series. Now, at the start of the series, as you can see, I'm going to be a little bit below 15 mil XP, but even though XP is a goal, that's not really... I don't have an end uh, limit of, of, of an XP I'm trying to reach. Basically, what I'm going to be doing with this series is completing all of the uh, Slayer masks that you can get from Treasure Hunter. I have accumulated a bunch of them. I will go over which ones I have and which ones I don't have, which ones I've already completed in just a little bit. But my goal is going to be to finish all of them. Um, you can see in my inventory, this is just some of the general gear I'll, I'll be using. This is uh, Golden War Priest. I've got Subjugation, Bandos, um, Drago Rapiers, Chaotic Crossbow. I, I might use a Crystal Bow as well. Chaotic Staff. You can see some of the necklaces I have. It's really not going to be spectacular gear. It's not bad gear by any means, but it's it's obviously not going to be like amazing tier 90 degradable stuff the whole way through, but that's not really the goal we're going for. The goal is to be uh, completing these masks and seeing what the loot I get from them is. So let's take a break from this and I will show you what masks I have. All right, so as you can see, I have a whole bunch of Slayer masks really. <clears throat> the thing to note, though, is that uh, these five at the bottom I have already completed. And when I say complete, I mean uh, gotten enough kills in that respective monster to be able to change the look of the mask and upgrade it. Um, how that works is um, basically one once you have a certain amount of kills, you can change the look of it, and it, it turns from a mask into a helm. You can see all of these are masks. I, I don't have any kills. Well, I... I haven't completed any of these. I think the only one of these I really have kills in might be the Mask of Stench and the Mask of Gloom. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go over uh, what monsters each one of these uh, correlates to. So we have the um, Desert, or no, the, the Jungle Strike Worms, the Desert Strike Worms, the Ice Strike Worms, Cockatrices, Bas Basilisks, um, Kurasks, Bloodvelds, Jellies, Aberrant Specters, uh, Dark Beasts, and then these five on the bottom I've already completed. That would be... Um, Crawling Hands, Dust Devils, Gargoyles, uh, Mutated Judinkos, and, um, of course, Abyssal Demons. So, what I can do is I can use these uh, Spirit of Battle, um, and by, by using one of those on an already completed Slayer Mask, it resets your kills to zero. Now, that sounds like a bad thing, but it's really not. How uh, the Slayer Masks work is that um, once you've reached their threshold of kills, they lose their benefits. They become pretty much cosmetic other than their teleports and I guess their ability to uh, guarantee you that uh, slayer monster as your task but how they work um, up until the point when they reach that threshold I'm using the term threshold by the way because each mask has a, a different number of kills that you need to reach for each number or for each monster say for example the, uh, the helm of the dead hand for crawling hands I believe I only needed 100 kills for that while something like um, Mutated Jodinkos, I think I needed 800. So it varies, so I'm just going to use the word threshold. But anyway, until you reach, reach that threshold, every single kill you get will give you um, a certain amount of XP depending on the level required to kill that monster on top of the XP you would get if you're on a Slayer task. Now, you can kill them off task and still get this XP. I'm not certain yet whether or not I'm going to be doing this entirely on task or off task, etc. I think I'm probably going to do a lot of it off task just so that I can keep the loot from each mask separate easier. But the other benefit is that every 10 kills, so on your 10th kill, you will get double loot, meaning every single drop is doubled. If I got an Abyssal Whip, I could get two Abyssal Whips. And uh, hopefully I'll throw in a picture right around now or somewhere in the future in this video of me getting a double whip drop. That actually did happen a long time ago. Uh, granted, it was only like, um, they were like 90k or something at the time, so it really wasn't anything cool. Or it wasn't anything worth a lot, but it was definitely cool to get. But anyway, I will, uh, no, I don't want to wear these. That's not what I want. I'm going to check the kills on each one of these so we can see how many kills I have for each monster. And you will see that I am, I, I have a long ways to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I did do some Aberrant Spectres. I have done some Dark Beasts. All of these, of course, I have completed. I've done a lot of um, Abyssal Demons past the threshold. And, all right, so, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm sorry, I was confused for a second. But uh, what I m might do is I might reset these masks in order to do them again. 
I would rather not do the crawling hand one, but that wouldn't take long at all to finish again. But uh, basically, you guys tell me what you want in the comments. If you want me to redo those masks so you can see what sort of loot I get from completing it and everything like that, then by all means, go for it. Um, if you don't want to see something like that, then I might not bother with it, but it all depends on feedback from you guys. So generally, my plan is going to be to uh, get Slayer tasks with these masks, kill however many I need to reach that threshold, try and keep track of how much loot I get, and then at the end I'll do some sort of price check to see what I got. I can go over some of the XP I got as well. Uh, all of this will be very rough estimates. I have this habit of not selling certain loot, like um, coin drops. I'll probably, I, I, I can almost guarantee I will do a poor job keeping track of that. I'll try to remember to empty my pouch before I go and do stuff like this, but I can't guarantee I'll be perfect. Uh, rune drops as well. I just like, whenever I get rune item drops, I just hoard them. I don't sell them. I want to see how many I can collect over time. So hopefully I'll try to remember to keep track of what I got, and I can at least throw that into some sort of price checker uh, without selling it. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. Again, you guys tell me how you want me to run this series <clears throat> in the description, or in, in the comments below the description, and we will see how that goes. Uh, as it starts now, though, I'm going to start one of the masks that I haven't already gotten kills on. That way... Um, it's, it's just from a clean slate, and if you guys want me to do a mask and reset it, then I will. And other than that, I think that's going to be really everything I have to say about the intro to this series. If you have any questions about how I'm going to do it or anything like that, leave it in the, in the comments again. I'm sure whenever I uh, do an episode, um, whenever I publish an episode after I've completed the mask, I will talk about what gear I used and everything like that. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else to say. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this series. I know I am pumped about it. Have an awesome day. Stay happy. And I cannot wait to see you in my first episode.